Hey everyone, Ryan Lestrange here with today's Monday Word. I'm on location here in the mountains of North Carolina. It's absolutely beautiful. And my Monday Word for you and I is living with eyes wide open. You know, I love the scripture in Ephesians 1 when the Apostle Paul prayed over the church of Ephesus that the eyes of their spirit, one translation says, the eyes of the inner man will be open, the eyes of the understanding. You know, I believe it's so critical. The Lord has hardwired us to hear from heaven. We are called to move in the revealed will of God. We are called to move in the revealed Word of God. And I believe it's just critical that we live with our spiritual eyes wide open, that we learn how to tune into the voice of God. I was praying for a lady recently and I saw these two knobs and I could see one that was the voice of her spirit and the voice of the Lord being turned up. And I could see the other one that was the voice of the enemy and the voice of accusation being turned down. And I believe we've got to do that. We've got to make a conscious effort to develop the inner voice of the Lord and hearing that inner voice of the Lord in our life. And I want to read you a scripture in 2 Kings 6, uh, 15 through 17. This is a powerful uh, demonstration of spiritual eyes being open. It said, when the attendant of the man of God had risen early and gone out, behold, an army with horses and chariots was circling the city. And his servant said unto him, alas, my master, what shall we do? So they were encompassed by this great army. And the servant of the man of God was concerned. And he said, what are we going to do? And look at what he said. He said, do not fear for those who are with us are more than those that are with them. Then Elijah prayed and said, Oh Lord, I pray that his eyes may be open that they may see. Listen to this. I pray that his eyes be open that they may see after the Lord opened the servant's eyes and he saw he behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots and fire round about Elisha. You see, he was unnecessarily fearful because he wasn't seeing what Elijah was seeing. It's critical critical to move in the times and the seasons of the Lord that we live with our eyes wide open. You know, there are many ways God speaks. God can speak through his written word. God can speak through somebody giving us a prophetic word. God can speak through a still small voice. God can speak through a dream, a vision. He can speak to our spiritual ears. He can speak to our spiritual eyes. He can uh, move in just so many different ways. And we've got to learn to tune in and live with our eyes wide open. Now, the next thing we've got to learn is once we've heard from God, we need a personal prophetic strategy. What do we do with what we hear? See, a lot of people have notebooks full of things they've heard, but they're not stewarding or administrating what they've heard very well. And so here's some tips I would give you. Number one, hone in on what is the Lord saying? What is the will, the word of the Lord for my life right now? Sometimes you've got to go back like Paul told Timothy and look at what the Lord has said. One person said, why would God say something new to you when you fail to do the last thing he said. So sometimes we're looking for a new instruction when really what we need to do is go back and re-examine a previous instruction. Now you cannot do this if you don't write it down, if you don't record what the Lord is saying. So I'm big on recording what the Lord is saying. So what is the Lord saying? Do you have a prophetic history for where you're at today? Do you have a prophetic pathway of what the Lord has said and what you believe the Lord is saying? Now, if God says saying it, listen guys, it's going to come to you in a multitude of ways. There will be confirmations. Don't make a life altering decision just based on one 30 second impression. Let it, met, let, let it, you know, meditate on it, sail on it, let it marinate, ponder it, let the Lord confirm it. And then what you've got to do is begin to give voice to it, begin to declare it, begin to speak, begin to pray in agreement with the prophetic declarations. You begin to release your tongue as the instrument of the Lord and get in agreement with the Lord is said. And then begin to seek. What is the instruction of the Lord? What do I do about what the Lord has said? Maybe the Lord said, Ryan, you're going to nations. And I can't go to nations right now, but maybe I can sow to somebody that's going to nations. Seek instruction. Seek wisdom. How many people have a prophetic word? They're going to have a multi-million dollar business, but they've never even read a book on business. Begin to build yourself up for that which the Lord has spoken to you. And then the last uh, bit of this personal strategy is move. 
Listen, faith without movement is dead. There are times you sit and you stand on what God has already said. But generally, there will be an instruction that creates movement. That movement might, might be movement in prayer. That might movement might be movement in sowing. That movement might be movement in ge- geographically, that you get up and go somewhere different. That movement might be that you do something different. But you begin to take the word of the Lord living with eyes wide open and develop a personal prophetic strategy. Strategy, amen. I believe God is talking to you today. I believe there's instruction for you today. And I just pray, Father, for my friends that the eyes of their inner man be open, that they clearly hear, they clearly see, they clearly move in the revelation of heaven. And I thank you that they walk under the ordination of heaven. I thank you that they are wise stewards over the mysteries of God. I bless them in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.